is called Here Today, and you can see it in theaters right now. Um, but from time to time on the show, we get guests with, you know, stories so epic, so long that there's just not enough time to tell them. And there are some great storytellers out there. So it just so happens that Billy is one of those guests. Uh, so we now bring you another installment of Epic Storytime. Epic Storytime. <laughs> I love that one. Okay. Uh, with this segment, I ask one question, just one, and Billy will tell us an epic story backed by a bunch of illustrations. Um, as always, I'll have some follow-up questions at the end because that's who I am. Uh, so here's my one question. Billy, it's almost summer. Do you like to get out this time of year and enjoy your garden? Yes, I do. And, and that, uh, Kelly, that is my, my epic story. <laughs> I love my that. Epic... Well, okay, it has to do with my garden. Um, a while ago, my daughter was about to be married, and we we're going to have a big outdoor party at the house in the garden. So we had to resod it, the whole thing. It's about half an acre. So we had beautiful grass, all stunning flowers. It looked sensational. Then one morning, it was all torn up. The beautiful sod was ripped up, plants overturned every place, so we had to redo it. We put new sod down, rolls and rolls. Next morning, it's all rolled up. We thought it was kids in the neighborhood screwing around or Red Sox fans, and so I alerted the neighborhood security <laughs> service, watched the fence, nothing. Next day, the garden is dug up again, and now there were animal prints all over the place. And the gardener says to us, you got raccoons, you have raccoons, and maybe a skunk. And the, and the raccoons, they eat the little grub worms on the bottom of the sod and on the roots of the plants. So one night, I'm in full tuxedo. I have to host a charity event, and, and I'm late, and it's all the way downtown. And in my tuxedo, I go to leave, and the, the front door is glass, and what do I see? A big raccoon sitting right on the welcome mat, looking at me through the glass. I mean, this <laughs> raccoon was huge. He looked like he was a mascot for a team named the raccoons. That's how big he was. So I, I tap on the glass, and he stands up in like a karate pose. And he goes, come on out, come on out. Come on out, Mr. Big Shot. I will bite you in the ass. Come on, come on out, out. I'm scared. So I run to the back door, and he's there. Either that or another one that looked just like him, but come on, what are the odds on that? And I go, get out of here, get out of here. And I had a jar that had a lot of change in it, right? So I, I shook it at him. And then he just starts laughing at me. What are you doing with your parking meter money? What are you, dumb? Come on now. So I get a broom and I go, get out of here, scat, 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 scat. And he goes, shibada, chudada, chudada, chududada. He starts scatting for me. This is a real, pretty smart raccoon. And he says, oh, why do, by the way, Mr. Big Shot, I left you a little gift on your welcome mat. So I run to the front door, and he had pooped on the welcome mat. <laughs> so now, now I'm really angry. I'm really angry. So I go on the internet to see uh, raccoon deterrence. What can you do to deter a raccoon? And they say, get coyote urine. I get coyote <laughs> urine and, and sprinkle it around your flower beds and where you think they're coming in, coyote urine. So, Kelly, my luck, I'm out of coyote urine. I don't know how that happened. It must have been the holidays. And, and, and he said, well, if they, they smell a coyote urine, they, they get scared because coyotes are a real predator for the raccoons. So I think if they're scared of a coyote, they'd be terrified of me. So I peed in the garden. <laughs> Every place I possibly could, and I'm an older man now, so it took me about 45 minutes or so to get everything covered. <laughs> and there's this neighbor who lives on a hill looking right down at me as I'm finishing up, and he's smiling and waving. It didn't phase him at all, because apparently Gary Busey lived in a house before I did. So... <laughs> so... Nothing, 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 and and the, the garden keeps getting torn up, and and there's always a fresh poop right on the welcome mat. So now I'm talking to a friend. I said, I got this raccoon problem, and he goes, Wait, I got a guy, I got a guy. The guy they talk about, everybody, is a guy named Trapper Joe, and he humanely captures them and then releases them in the wild. So Trapper Joe comes over to the house. I meet him, and he insists on being called Trapper Joe when you talk to him. So now I feel like I'm in a kitty show or something. <laughs> Think we'll catch anything, Trapper Joe? <laughs> well, I sure hope so, Bill. I sure hope so. And now he's sniffing around the garden, and he's sniffing around the flower beds, and he looks at me and he goes, did you pee in the garden? <laughs> and I, 
I couldn't lie. I said, my, my, my wife did. My, my wife did. <laughs> so then he brings out three cages, right? And he puts the cages down. One of them is covered in a black hefty bag in case he catches a skunk, because if you catch a skunk, you don't want them to spray, because that spray smells worse than anything you could possibly imagine. Mm. And he baits them with sardines, and that's it, and he leaves, and now the morning comes, and Kelly, to me, it's like it's like Christmas morning. Did I, what did I get? What did I get? Did I get anything? And I look out in the garden, and the door of the one with the black hefty bag is shut. There's something in the cage. So I tiptoe out there, and I take my broom with me and I touch the cage and it starts shaking like this and I start screaming like a four-year-old girl. Like, like, there's something in the cage! There's something in the cage! There's something in the cage! So I, I call Trapper Joe, what is it? There's something in the cage! So Trapper Joe comes over and he's like dressed in riot gear. And he opens up the door, reaches in with his thick leather glove and he pulls out Frisky, our neighbor's cats. Oh my gosh, all that trouble. So for the first three days, we caught Frisky twice, a bluebird, and one of the smaller gardeners who apparently loves sardines. <laughs> and the garden keeps getting, keeps getting torn up, torn up. And then one day, about two days later, I go out in the morning and there in a the cage is a small raccoon. And then in another cage is the big raccoon, the one that taunted me. So Trapper Joe comes, he takes him, puts him in the back, of his pickup truck, so the big guy looks like some criminal that the cops are taking away in the backseat of the car. He takes him about 45 minutes outside of LA into the, into the hills, and he releases them, and he videos them so you make sure that they weren't harmed, and they run away, and the big one stops, turns around, and gives him the finger. <laughs> I want that picture. <laughs> and, and now it's been it's been a long time and we haven't had any problems, you know, in the garden. The only problem is we still don't know who's pooping on our welcome mat. So that's what we do. <laughs> that, oh that is the end of the story. That is the end. Poop! <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. His new movie is called Here Today, and you can see it in theaters now. And thanks to Marcel and our art department for those great illustrations. Oh, thank you. Great job. Oh, my God. He's incredible. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever. Ah.